Well, airports will be filling up soon with holiday travelers. Salt Lake International Airport says tomorrow and Friday will be the busiest days before Christmas. Yeah, plus millions of Americans expected to hit the roads as well. Daniel Woodruff live in Utah County with us tonight with what we can expect. Daniel? Yeah, whether you're traveling on the roads or in the skies, AAA says more of us will be traveling for this holiday season than last year, although not quite as much as we saw before the COVID-19 pandemic. And for those of us who choose to drive, there's a little added holiday bonus this time. It's been a year of really painful prices for drivers, but check this out. This is about as good as it gets. Two seventy nine at two stations right across from each other. I found that from Salt Lake County to Utah County, um, this little area of Springville has the cheapest gas prices. It's good news for Kelly Hurlevy on her way to Salt Lake and for Terry Merrill, who lives in San Pete County. It's nice to see prices here like this. He and his wife plan to drive to Lehigh on Christmas to see their kids. It really helps the budget, especially retirees. Because we're on a fixed income. Then there's the airport. More people are expected to fly this year. The airport will be a very busy place. Airport spokesperson Nancy Vollmer says so far, weather in other states hasn't really impacted Salt Lake. Crews here have been getting ready for more snow to fall and for the crowds. We're expecting Thursday and Friday to be two of the busiest pre-Christmas travel days. We're expecting up to 30,000 passengers each day. So if you're flying, the airport recommends planning ahead, checking your flight status ahead of time, and reserving a parking spot at Salt Lake Airport ahead of time online if you need one. For those on the roads, Utah Highway Patrol, of course, has been urging all of us to slow down, especially when there is weather, snow coming down, things like that, to avoid accidents and deaths. Live in Utah County, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.